Okay, so guys, as you can clearly see on the screen, I'm actually quite hyped. Uh, it's like 7.47 a.m. as I'm recording this. I'm just gonna put this video out and then hit the hay. But as you can see on the screen, they have just confirmed Dragon Ball is getting the first new TV anime series in 18 years. So Dragon Ball is getting a canon series, which is insane. I'm gonna be showing where they confirm it's canon later on. But as you can see, it's called Dragon Ball Super. And it's the first new original Dragon Ball television anime in 18 years. The last Dragon Ball TV anime, Dragon Ball GT, aired from 96 to 97. Yahoo News via Tipster Pike and Famitsu report that Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama will be handling the new anime story. That right there confirms that it's probably canon. He worked on all the other stories of the Dragon Balls besides GT. So you already know. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know this is going to be good. It says right here as well, you can see it's canon because it says it will take place after Goku defeats Majin Buu and the world will become a peaceful place again. Now that you know it's canon because it kind of stopped right after the Majin, the Majin arc, you know? It's weird what baffles me because in Dragon Ball Z, I mean Dragon Ball Battle of Gods, uh, Pan, they didn't confirm that it's Pan, but Pan is not in quote born yet. She's in the, the stomach of uh, Videl. So she's not born yet, but at the end of Dragon Ball Z, Pan is born and she's a kid in the martial arts tournament. If you think about that, think about that, think about that, think about that. I kind of went off the speculation that it's probably they're having a second child from Gohan's reaction and from her being quiet about it. I'm guessing that maybe it's Pan. They never confirmed, they never said, but hey, let's go off that. It's a whole other topic for a whole nother day. We're on Dragon Ball Super. In Japanese, the title is Dragon Ball Cho Super, as Cho means super, hyper, ultra, or even very. The reason for the Cho name in Goku's voice actor, Masako Naozawa, explains it is that word that is always used in Dragon Ball commercials, video games, and whatnot. Now I'm going to the title of the new anime series that also is to be airing this July in Japan. Now, if you want more, more information we got here, another source, I'll be dropping all of this. But as you can see, um, it says right here, pretty much the same stuff, you know, Dragon Ball Super set after Majin Buu Saga Will 4 with foes stronger than Buu, Frieza tease. So yeah, the, the Frieza F Resurrection movie is right after the Majin Buu Saga, right there. So anybody that thought, hey, maybe this is before, you'd be surprised. You have to read uh, Reddit sometimes. Some people just don't know what they're talking about. Uh, but now it's after the Majin Buu arc. Toriyama is credited as the original creator as well for the original story and character concepts uh, for Toei Animation's Ki Kimitocho Cheek, Japanese names, the series director, and Japanese, 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 Joy Nozaki as yes, producers. So just talk about the animated series, Dragon Ball Z, animes, Frieza art. Okay, uh, as a company with animated in the Dragon Ball Z anime's Frieza arc. Okay, so this here here, the story of the anime is set a few years after the defeat of Majin Buu, when the Earths have become peaceful once again. The voice of Goku, Gohan, Go and Goten, Masako Nozawa, commented on the new anime saying, we've always used the word Cho, which is super, with Dragon Ball in commercials, games, and the like, but the fact that the series titled Dragon Ball Super is beginning is the best thing ever. So the guy who voices one of the three main the three main characters, very I think it's a female actually. Uh, I think it was in the Japanese one. It's definitely a female. Yeah, it's a female. She does. I remember that because they do sound like girls in the Japanese one. But uh, yeah, she that uh, if she, her opinion means a lot. Clearly, it means a lot. It says right here that it's going to be premiering in Fuji TV and other channels in July on Sundays at 9 a.m. It'll be the first new Dragon Ball television series since Dragon Ball GT, which is from 96 to 97. So I'm hoping and I'm kind of guessing I'm going off the bat that the show is going to have English subtitles and it's going to be somewhere on the internet. That's how they always do. So that's how we watch new episodes of Naruto and all this shit because you know professionally subtitled. This may not be professionally subtitled because it might just be subtitled, but as long as we as long as we know, fuck it, man. I'm gonna be watching this without the subtitles, to be honest, man. Like you can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. But it's got me hype as hell. Uh, maybe I got a little too hyped where I didn't kinda go uh, off some correct information, so I apologize about that. But um yeah. The North American premiered the film on April 11th to Los Angeles. The company plans to release. What is this? Hold up. Funimation hosted the North American premiere on the film on April 11th. Hold up. Of Resurrection F? Bruh. It's time. Well, uh, that's going to be a whole other topic for another day, though. But I will leave these two links down in the description down below. As well as Kotaku tweeted about it. As you can see 
right here. Kotaku tweeted about it, and it's right here. Uh, Dragon Ball is getting the first new TV animes in 18 years. So, yeah, I'm going to be leaving every little bit of source down in the comments down below. I mean, description. Comment down below what you think about this. Are you hyped? Dragon Ball Z is coming back. It's now Dragon Ball Super. Forget the Z is super. I like it. It sounds decent. I'm not going to lie. Japanese one I'm a little bit more lean towards, but I like their English voices better than the Japanese ones. But you know how it is. The Japanese voice actor is a... I don't know. That's a whole, that's a whole, again, another topic for another day. But that's going to be it, though. So if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, it'd mean a lot to me. Let's crush that like button, as well as let me know your feedback down in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll leave all the source feed links in the description. And I'm out. Bye, numb neighbors.